We're down in the southwest part of Blaine, and we're going to take a look at a process we're using to replace some of our older sewer lines. Uh, the sewer lines that are down here in this part of town, and this is our oldest part of town, are in the neighborhood of 40 plus years old. They're the old clay tile type sewer pipe, and it has a usable lifetime of about 40 years. So it's time for us to replace them. In the past, when we had to replace sewer lines, it would involve ripping up the entire street and putting in the new pipe and then rebuilding the street over it. However, we're using some new technology to replace these lines that involves injecting a resin into the pipe and then letting it cure. Um, costs a lot less money and takes a lot less time. With me today is Anthony Adderhold with the company in situ form, and they are doing the work for us down here, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the process that they're using. First of all, Anthony, Anthony, welcome to Blaine. Thank you for thank seeing us today. Oh, thank you very much for having me, and I would love to explain the process. All right, thank you. Once we identify where the project's going to be, we'll get a contractor out. They will do a pre-cleaning of the sewer line, and while they're pre-cleaning the sewer line, they're identifying and measuring the lengths, the inside diameters, and, and locating where all the services, the private services are, to the homes or businesses. Once we get those lengths back from the contractor that did the pre-cleaning, we'll custom manufacture these tubes. And these tubes are, consist really of two parts. There's a polyester felt, that's what this part is. Then there's a polypropylene liner. And that's what's probably going to be hard to see on the camera, but it's a smooth surface, surf surface that ultimately gives you a, a faster flowing, smoother walled pipe once it's completed. Once the tube is designed and manufactured, it's then shipped off to our, our wet out facility, which for us is Indianapolis. It's then impregnated with a resin. For the project in Blaine, we're impregnating with a polyester resin, which is a standard gravity tube resin. It's impregnated with the resin. It's then put into a refrigerated truck where it needs to be below 33 degrees. Otherwise, the exothermic reaction starts. If anybody uses JB Weld, uh, you notice how you mix the two products together and it starts to create heat. We need to keep it below 33 so that that resin does not get hard. It has a pot life of about 30, 30 days once it's in that refrigerated truck and we maintain that 33 degrees. Once it's on the site, we'll pull it off the truck and it's actually coming off the truck inside out. So the wetted perimeter, which is the polypropylene liner, is on the outside. We'll put it through our what we call the chip unit and that's actually our inversion unit. And if anybody folds their socks up in a ball, when we're, unfo when we're unfolding the socks, that's really what the inversion process is. So if you can see this in the camera, when we're inverting it inside out, or turning it inside out, that's actually the inversion process. So now you have your polypropylene liner on the inside. We invert it the full length of that, that shot, usually from manhole to manhole. And in the case that you can see behind me, we're inverting this right now with, uh, with air. And we will then cook it or cure it out with steam, usually at about a temperature of 240 degrees. And we're keeping it at a consistent uh, pressure of about 7 to 15 PSI. For a four or four to five hundred foot shot, we cure it for about two hours, and once it's cured out, you get a product that looks exactly like this. It's a fully structural product that, if that old VCP or vitrified clay pipe goes away, you're good to go. And once we're done curing it out, uh, we will then identify again where those those laterals are to each home, and we'll re uh, remotely cut those services back open with a, with a robot. And ultimately, that's it. In a nutshell. And can you tell me um, what is the lifespan of the new pipe? Old uh, standard sewer pipe used to have a lifespan of about 40, maybe 50 years. How long would this last? Uh, what we've been finding actually is, is clay pipe truly probably 30 years. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a great pipe, but it's very susceptible to root, root intrusion. This actually has a, a design life of over 100 years. So it's very similar to a PVC pipe that uh, a lot of uh, communities are utilizing now in newer construction. Uh, 100 years, we actually just recently, in situ form, a little background information, in situ form invented the product back in 1971. Just three weeks ago, we actually, company-wide, we looked at some video of some, of some cured in place pipe that we installed back in 72. And it looks the exact same way it did the day we installed it. So that's a good sign, 38 years later, it looks the exact same way. It looks like we're gonna make that 100 year design life. With the um, old way we used to replace sewer pipes, again, we had to rip up the whole street. Uh, how much tear up is involved with this kind of process? All, ultimately, zero. I mean, we're entering each line uh, from the manhole. We're going to install it from manhole, the upstream manhole down to the downstream manhole. And so, theoretically, you have zero uh, invasiveness uh, to, a, to the surface. 
And uh, when we had to tear them up, it might take us maybe to do a few block section a couple of months. Uh, start to finish, how long does this process take? Uh, because the cleaning process is a separate process for us, the cleaning process probably takes about an hour to two hours, and then we'll come in at a separate date. But once we're actually starting the lining process, uh, once we're set up and we're doing the inversion and the curing and the cutout, about four hours for a four to 500 foot shot. And can you talk a little bit about the cost of doing this versus the old way that we used to do sewer pipe, uh, I imagine with um, not having to tear the street up and all of that kind of construction, this is substantially less expensive? It, it is substantially less expensive. Uh, previously when the materials were more expensive and there was less competition, of course this price was a little bit higher for the cured in place pipe. But current market conditions, this is, this is averaging anywhere from $20 to $30 a lineal foot and you're looking at a cost compared to uh, open cut and street reconstruction, about 10 to 15, 10 to 20 percent of, of a reconstruction cost. So uh, there's substantial savings up to 80 to 90 percent. That's impressive. That's impressive. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us. I just want to tell you that over the next few years, Blaine is going to be doing about 40 miles total of its older sewer pipe. We have probably 230 miles or, or so of, of sewer pipe in the city. And this is the process we're using in our older neighborhoods to um, replace the sewer at a much, much, much less cost than we would uh, and also a lot less time. Thank you for joining us.